one way or another. No comment, y'all. Thank you. Secret briefings on Capitol Hill. Zip the lips. The White House making its case to skeptical lawmakers. On CNN, Secretary of State John Kerry revealing new evidence to back claims the Assad regime killed hundreds with nerve gas. Blood and hair samples that have come to us has tested positive for signatures of sarin. The president's team moving quickly after his surprise decision to put a Syria strike on hold, saying Congress should approve. And all of us should be accountable as we move forward. His aides insist he'd been thinking about reversing course even before the British Parliament embarrassed Prime Minister David Cameron on Thursday. The nose have it. Friday, though, he sends Kerry out to argue for urgent action. What is the risk of doing nothing? Later that day, he signals second thoughts. Nobody. Uh, ends up being more war worried than me. But aides say he didn't tell anyone until Friday at 6 p.m. when he takes a 45 minute walk with Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough. At 7, he tells his national security staff, sparking a heated debate. Saturday morning, he calls his top team to the Situation Room to finalize his plan, phones congressional leaders from the Oval Office to get them on board, then heads to the Rose Garden to stun the world. I will seek authorization for the use of force from the American people's representatives in Congress. Brianna Keeler, CNN, Washington.